Should you buy an FJ Cruiser with uh, 300,000 miles? Well, stick around, watch the video, and I should be answering that same question. So will uh, FJ Cruiser make it to 300,000 miles? Well, I think uh, if uh, you're looking at an FJ Cruiser to buy it, and you know Toyota's reliability, you know the answer to that question. The question that I ask you is, should you buy one? Is that a wise decision? Well, it depends. If you like working on cars and you don't mind a little bit of rust, then the answer is yes. But if you're the type of person that has to pay for somebody to fix your car, do yourself a favor, you can thank me later. Stay away from a car like this that has a lot of miles because you are going to regret it. Trust me, I work on them all the time. I know what I'm talking about. These are uh, things you should be expecting with a car that's kind of mileage. Um, I mean, it's not terrible, honestly. Uh, if I was in a market uh, for an FJ Cruiser, I'd definitely be trying to buy it out of state because I do live in New Jersey and honestly, with the road salts, these cars just get beat up. Um, but yeah, as you can see on this one, I will show you the mileage in a second. The engine is actually not uh, noisy or anything. Although it's an 07 and I don't want to start a big debate here, but uh, trust me when I say this, you do not want to buy an 07. That is definitely one you want to stay away from. A little bit of cracking going on here with these headlights. Corner lights, I should say, excuse me. But yeah, you can and it will reach 300,000 miles. 300,000 miles, <clears throat> jeez. Question is how much money are you willing to spend to get it there? Yes, this is not the factory windshield. And yes, because of its design, it has your cracks and nicks and all this good stuff. Wow, three of them, not one, not two, it has three. And this is what I mentioned in a previous video. This trim piece suffers from this usually. Chances are this has been replaced. All right. Oh, look at that. Totally missed that. That's totally gone. So, without further ado, let me show you guys the mileage on this thing. There you have it. Yes, it will make it there. Should you buy one, please, for the love of God, don't. Okay, so all these check condition of the suspension, brakes. Uh, Definitely your frame. Frame on this guy, not that bad. Got some exhaust work done, still leaking there. <clears throat> it's a weak point for these. Clearly, this one is not so bad. This drive shaft has definitely seen better days. This one, not so bad. Lubricate your shafts. That might be a leak. Don't forget our boots. There. This guy. Radiator support section. They're known for rotting away. Again. Not so bad here. All in all, considering the mileage, she's all right. Shields, seen better days, but not too bad for the mileage. Hey, a few more points here to check. Gas tank straps. Both sides, they're known for failing. I definitely would be changing these. Um, 
The shocks actually don't look too bad. I wonder if they were ever replaced. Honestly, probably not. This one is developing a little bit of rust back here. Because as you guys know, it's kind of open like so. Your spare tire sits in the back. Um, but hey, what do you expect, right, with this kind of mileage? Wow, looks very crispy for sure. Can you imagine if you were the guy that had to take this exhaust manifold out? Look at those nuts. There is no nuts. And yes, you can lose the, the shaft, I know. Bring on the jokes. Yeah. Lubricate your shafts, guys. Should you buy a high mileage FJ Cruiser? Well, it all depends if you can work on cars. If you can work on cars, then it's totally fine. I mean, parts are available for these things. You can find parts anywhere and they're fairly inexpensive. And let's face it, it's a reliable car, very off-road capable. It's fun, unique, and you definitely gonna get attention. It doesn't matter where you go, you're gonna get attention. It's an F FJ Cruiser. People love these cars. But honestly, if I was in your shoes, spend the $40,000, Buy yourself a 14 or a 13, lowest mileage as possible, and treat that frame, and you, you're you good to go. Don't buy a high mileage FJ Cruiser, man. That's not very smart. There's better things to do with your time than to be fixing a car that's gonna need a lot of work.